And what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John for the Game Editor here, welcoming you back to another episode of the Pokemon Saga Lock. Hopefully, you're all having a wonderful day. Let's go ahead and get into this. We got a team of four at the moment with Grimer, the Troll of the Grimer, Timmy B, the um, Persian Cat, and then we have Maximus, the uh, Krabby, and last but not least, Mega, the Magneton. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful day. Welcome in, everybody. Thank you guys for supporting Saga Lock so much. It does mean a lot. Um, this is episode six, which means next Monday, y'all better be ready because you guys get to kill them on next Monday. So get prepared, get those votes ready because honestly, I cannot believe how crazy early this feels. But yeah, no, y'all are about to be killing a Pokemon and that's very scary for me because obviously, that's one of the biggest parts about the series, right? Is you guys get to kill them on. Um, and it's what makes it different from all of the rest, which is something that's super exciting because, of course, making a series this different just makes it feel nice, right? It gives it that infusion of, uh, like, I'm going to say infusion of youth, even though that's not exactly what I mean. Because, you know, I've been playing a lot of, uh, but um, getting that infusion of youth kind of makes it feel really, really special. And like I said, I'm super excited for it. So hopefully y'all are ready for this crazy episode because we're going to get three encounters. Yes, count them, three encounters. Um, and maybe even get through Mount Moon. I highly doubt us getting through Mount Moon being a thing. But you never know. It is a potential. It is something that we could do. Um, I did check items just to make sure we were good. We have 20 Pokeballs, so we should not be complaining. Also, I swear that there is a way to adjust my items. Hey, Joy, do you know how to do that? If you do, let me know in the comments below. Um, or if anybody knows how to move and uh, organize my uh, bag, that'd be amazing information to let me know in the comment section below. But, y'all, I'm excited. So, if you're excited, make sure to smash that like button. Obviously, it does help. I did hear that smashing that like button should help this series get bigger and better. Uh, and also, uh, if you are new, hit that subscribe button because it does do wonders for this channel. I know. Subtle D plugs, not really subtle, but um, I typically am not that much of a plug heavy person, but you know, it needs to happen. Um, also, whoever's new, February 18th is going to be a crazy night, so mark that on your calendars. Um, <laughs> um, I know, I don't like to mega, like, whatever it's called, mega promote, but I have to do it. Um, today because you know this is the what honestly all I have to say is just thank you guys so much for making this series my most viewed series on YouTube um, on a consistent basis and I really hope this keeps up because honestly y'all have been watching almost 50% of the video which already in itself is just insane um, considering the fact that these videos are about 18 or 16 to 20 minutes long and I want to keep it that way I feel like it might end up getting longer when we get into Sun and Moon territory um, uh, because I want to make sure that I'm going at a decent pace, but I'm just glad that a 15 minute video actually gets you pretty far in this game. And especially the way that I play this game, it does. Oh, I forgot. She traps you. Oof. Um, so I have to do one more fight. Uh, but the way that this game is like actually segmented out and the, how I know this game really, really like pretty much off the back of my head, I can pretty much tell you what's going to happen. It's always super nice. I'm so glad that we're not uh, steel type yet because we can just thunder it to death. Uh, because here's the thing. Game knowledge is super important when it comes to a run like this. Having the game knowledge is realistically going, is doing wonders. Because without that necessary game knowledge, I would not at all be going as fast as I'm going. But because I know exactly where to go, when places to be, the only thing I don't have is that randomized aspect. And, you know, that makes sense because, you know, I don't, I haven't played, because you don't know what the game is. It's a randomizer. Um, so, yeah, it's really nice. I don't know. Oh, do you guys like the fact that, do you, oh, shoot. Well, I messed up. Oh, perfect. It didn't matter. Do you guys like the pacing of Saga Lock? If you do, let me know. Um, because the episode length is probably going to stay the same, but I want to make sure that you, you feel like I'm doing what I should be doing in about 16 minutes of gameplay. Because... I feel like it wouldn't be fair if I was not providing content that you guys feel is fair to you. Because I feel like I feel like I'm actually traversing areas and doing playing the game as fast as I can. Thank god you're level 10. Um Because like I said, I, I feel like it wouldn't be fair. Oh god, me too so broken in this game. Of course we missed. Um Okay, that was a crit, so we can live another crit. Um, but yeah, I feel like it would be definitely unfair if I was providing you content that you guys feel like wasn't enough or like isn't 
I was I'm faster, so wait, Mega Punch isn't 100% um, accurate though. Hold up, let me fix that. So yeah, but I I just like like I said, I always like asking you guys questions just to make sure that you guys feel the same way that I do. Um, cause I feel like it's pretty, pretty evened out here. Like it's like 16 to 20 minutes. I get to like an objective point, um, in the games. So Graveler, Ooh, Graveler stuff. Okay. Um, did I just send out troll? Please tell me I didn't do that. Okay, good. I sent out Maximus. But yeah, no, honestly, like I, that my, my goal is to have a condensed amount of time in a video while getting like the... I guess enjoyment's not necessarily the right word, but it's on the right track, so I'll use it. While well, getting the enjoyment and value, there you go, of your time. Because I value you guys' time a lot. You guys literally make this channel what it is, and without you guys, it would literally be a completely different situation, and the way that everything would be going, it would be 100% different. So I want to make sure that you feel like your time is being valued in such a way that it doesn't feel like I'm ripping you off, so to speak, even though, like, I'm not. Uh, it's just something that I always think about. Um, I think about 8,000 different things in my head, so, like, I completely get it, why I'm thinking about all this stuff, because I know as soon as I get later on, I think I'll be a lot more lax with the 16 minutes, 16 to 20 minute timer, as much as I would love to. Um, games like Diamond and Pearl, which are a lot slower, um... Like, I think Gen 1 through 3, I think I can pretty much maintain this 16-minute kind of format. Because I really like the 16-minute format. It gets a lot done in a little time. Um, at least to me, it does. Like, to me, it feels like I do get a lot done in such a small amount of time. Good thing I have Paralyzed Heals. Um, because it's nice to kind of not, like, feel the pressure of watching a 30-minute video. Because... Sometimes these videos, like, for our Pokemon creators, are long. And it's just another kind of innovative way that I want to go about it. Because, again, you know, if you have watched my channel enough, you know that I want to innovate. I want to change the landscape of YouTube. Um, and how things are run, and what things do, and, like, how to become a bigger, better, successful YouTuber. And I want people to beat me out, too. So, like, one person in particular that I'm super, super, super proud of is Risky. Risky has a lot of things that she does that innovates content and, like, makes content, like, even more enjoyable to watch. And I just love it. I love seeing that innovation, that, like, drive to do better and be better. Um, it's something that a lot of people don't have have and it's something that um i'm very lucky that i have because having that creative drive to like make things and do things better than they've ever been before just continually perpetuates and makes a better youtuber and it makes a better youtube zubat okay okay so zubat is an interesting pokemon obviously it's gonna be on the team because yas we got a zubat um and I don't mind Zubat because Zubat, again, is one of the, that's one of those Generation Two mods that are really good. Um, ooh, it's got side beam. That's awkward. Um, plus, they gave us a flying type. We don't have that yet, so that kind of helps us with our grass type. That's a quad resistance to grass. Oh, uh, see, this is where if you were if I was steel type, it'd be good. But that quad resistance to grass is gonna be very helpful. So hopefully, we can utilize that. Apparently, this game is just wants to hate us though. Because apparently, you know, Zubat, even with its extremely crazy low catch rate, it, or high catch rate, is just not wanting to stay in the ball. Jesus, are you going to be that mean to us? I don't, I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate you being mean, Zubat. I really don't. Am I really going to have to hit you? I'm gonna bide because I kind of have to. It's literally forcing me to bide, which is really sad. So poison damage won't count. So we're gonna do one. Or two, three, four. So we're gonna do eight points of damage. Perfect. <coughs> 
So they should be totally fine. Sorry for the cough, by the way. Um, hmm. Yeah, we should be fine dealing eight points of damage. Luckily, we do have recoveries and stuff like that. So it's, it's gotta be fine. Um, I'm so really surprised that this thing's being a butt nugget because it's a Zubat and it really shouldn't be a butt nugget. But if it wants to be a butt nugget, let it be a butt nugget. We should be able to catch it right here, right now. If we don't, I'll be mad. Are you kidding me? You are a Zubat. You are literally a Zubat. Why are you being harder to catch than a Magneton? Like, thank you. Gee, Zubat. Why are you being such a butt nugget? I disagree with your butt nuggetness. I'm gonna name this Zubat negative because it was being a negative Nelly today. Um, Tiv. And like, it's so weird that you can't put numbers. Like, that's it's just so odd. Like, you would think that this game would allow you to have numbers because most games did at this point. So the fact that this game does not is kind of funny. We definitely have enough. Because we don't have any fights. And we got our encounter already, so that's good. Wow, okay, so yeah. <laughs> we'll definitely end right outside Mount Moon, it looks like. Um, or actually, actually. You know what we can do? Depending. Yes, give me that. It's a Venonat. Okay. I'm going to nickname Venonat. Let's look at the comment section. Actually, wait. I'm being dumb. Cassie. Literally, every Venonat slash Venomoth is named Cassie. So, here I am about to be dumb. Cassie is an amazing person. Um, she actually changed her name to Chaos. So, let's actually make it Chaos for her. Because she did change... Or they, excuse me. They changed their name to um, Chaos recently. So, I apologize for saying she instead of they. But, uh, K... Oss. And there we go. So, Venonat's gonna be put on a squad now, so that's cool. Um, now, mind you, I do have a static squad, so luckily, we don't know what's gonna be on the team yet, but... Ooh, TM, okay. We don't know what the TM is. We can act uh, Let's check it, because it could be good. It probably won't be, but you never know. It is the TM for growth. Oh, growth is actually quite good. We're gonna teach that. Who who deserves that? Honestly, I don't know. I feel like if Mega could learn it, I would teach it to Mega for sure. Troll wouldn't. I wouldn't mind having Troll learn growth. Uh, I'm gonna get it over rest because I'm not gonna. Rest is not something I use, and having a plus one attack and a special attacking move never hurts. And our encounter in the mount. Uh, Moon is a Goldeen. Honestly, I'd rather have... Yeah, I think I think we have the right uh, set here. I would much rather have uh, Venonat over a Goldeen. Um, we already have Maximus, and that's good backup for if Maximus is, if you guys decide that Maximus is the Mon that you're going to kill. Um, we do have a backup for that now. So that's cool. Um, which I think... I don't know. I don't even know who you're going to kill. I think that's what's nerve-wracking, is just not knowing who the heck you're going to choose to kill. Um, Goldeen is going to be named after Gwen. Gwen is... We already said that Gwen would be like a star you, but honestly, Gwen could totally be a Goldeen too. I would like literally... I would not be surprised. Also, that's a super easy name to write down here. So, yeah, well, we can get through Mount Moon, I feel like. And X accuracy. Well, that's pointless. Yeah, like, I really do feel like Mount Moon is something we can definitely trudge through. Um, it would be a little bit of a longer episode, but I, I honestly don't mind that. I'm sure you guys don't either. Because even though it's, like, a little bit longer, it means this is an audience choice episode. So that's cool. Um, which would mean the audience choice is Helix or Dome. That's crazy. Uh, <laughs> audience choice episode. Um was not I was really not expecting to have an audience choice episode already but here we are having one so yeah um dome or helix fossil 
Wow. Because, <laughs> I mean, even if I do this... Ooh, gross. Okay. Because it, it literally doesn't matter um, how I shake this out. Because... Oh, wait. It just raises the special. Poison's physical, though, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, so that's going to be the, the the episode. What are we doing? We're actually going to make it a lot further than I thought in 10 episodes. I, I really did think that this was a lot. It was a lot harder. Oh, no. Uh, we had literally, we had the embodiment of Gwen just right here, ready to deal whatever it was going to deal with. Um, wow. Okay. But yeah, a little bit of a longer one. It's gonna be fun though. This honestly, this is one of my this has been my favorite series so far. And I think it just is because of how much I've learned these games thanks to Sogalog. Sogalog really has taught me a lot. Um or not Sogalog, excuse me, Monthlog. Monthlog really taught me a lot, and it's just something that I really appreciate because I think that without the Monthlog experience, Sogalog would not be possible. Or I would have been like, oh, there's no way that Sogalog's possible because like an eight generation nuzlocke just doesn't seem right but then you know month lock happened and it was like oh it is possible it is something that can be done um so that made it really really cool um and it gave me the confidence to be able to be like yeah we got this we're gonna rock this and then also gen race you got to shout out gen race and ryan being like you can't make a single player gen race entertaining. And I was like, bet. I already have something on the way. Um, like, legit. So I'm like, I'm trying to make this as entertaining as possible. And I actually think I'm doing a, quite a good job at it. Like, I watch these videos back. And it, it just, they go so fast. It doesn't matter how, um, like, long they are. They just feel fast. And I love that fast feeling because... I am not, I'm like doing very light edits. Like the editing in this series is really, really easy uh, and nothing really to worry about because they take me about a, maybe, I would say 30 minutes to render and 30 minutes to edit. Um, just because I want to make sure that everything goes well and everything works out the way it's supposed to and yada, yada, yada. So realistically, it's an hour process, which is not that long of a process when it comes to editing. Like. I know that some episodes are going to be longer than others, inevitably, because of the fact that um, pacing in this game is just, in any Pokemon game, for that matter, is just intriguing, and it's hard to kind of get out of that weird habit of, you know, recording for 30 minutes, because I'm so used, like I said, to these episodes being 30 minutes long, and um, so this not being that is just weird in general. Um, but it works, right? It does exactly what you kind of intend it to do. Um, and since these episodes are so short, it does help you guys, I'm sure. Um, let me know if you guys like the shorter episode style, because like I said, I like it. Um, and I hope you do too. I can't believe we're already getting into another audience choice. So literally I'm stuck. <laughs> um, so until, so, until, uh, Monday when I record it, so, because I was like, oh, yeah, we're gonna bulk this up, we're gonna get this ready, and it's like, oh, wait, and this is what I'm talking about with Sogalog, because you cannot really bulk in Sogalog, and that's part of the reason why I love it, is because you have the inability to bulk, you can't just be like, boom, we're gonna do this, this is what my audience is gonna choose, 100%, because I don't know what you guys are actually gonna choose, um, but I get it, again, that's why I love it, it is because of that factor, and adding the audience in as a big factor means a lot to I'm, I'm assuming you guys too because it would mean a lot to me to be or to feel like I have control it because you really do have a lot of control in the series and I and I love the fact that things are out of my control because I don't have to make decisions um and don't have to upset everybody um <laughs> gold dog because but also too just I don't know I love it <laughs> I love it a lot this has definitely been my favorite series, and I'm so glad I was able to step out of my comfort zone. Because a lot of people, like, actually... Well, I shouldn't say a lot of people, but some people were, like, debating on whether or not this series would actually be a good idea because of timing. Which, I love when people give their genuine opinions and say stuff like that, because it does help me consider, Hey, how am I going to do this? What am I going to do? And that's why I always cut off the, uh... 
like timing of um, things. I'm gonna get rid of withdraw because Biden actually helped. Um, that's why I cut off the uh, voting period at like 5 p.m. on whatever day, so that I can actually get my recording done day or not day of, and I can do my editing and do all my stuff like that. So I don't know. That's something I love. This is definitely the longest episode. Hey, stop! I found fossils. They're gonna bump me. Mine. Okay, so again, we're gonna fight this dude. And I'm going to leave up the choice to you. More electrodes. This game really be throwing electrodes out like like out of nowhere. Um, and I don't necessarily like that. Because that scare Like, explosion scares me. Um, also love how you learn thunder out of nowhere. I appreciate that, apparently. Wow! SD? Let's not. Metapod. Okay, Metapod, I'm gonna send in Timmy for it. I need Timmy to gain some levels. Timmy's a really nice Pokemon to have, and honestly, if Timmy didn't gain doesn't gain levels, that's bad. Um, try attack. Because I love Timmy as a Pokemon, and they Timmy deserves some love and support. Um But yeah, we're gonna train up to level. Actually, no, the uh, the um the rival fight's level 18, so realistically, we're going to train everybody up to level 18 for the next episode. Um, kind of seems to be the play. Because 18... Because that's the rival's ace, I believe. And then the next gym is like 23 with the boost that I gave it, so I gotta pay attention to that. But yeah, no... Oh my god, we flinched. But this should be it, right? I, uh, it's probably 2 AKO, to be honest. Oh, it's a 3 AKO. Okay. Oh, never mind. We got the poison. Perfectly timed poison. Um, Because now I just heal and we're fine. Perfect. So, yeah, no matter what. So, anyway, I'm going to end it off right here as we're going to defeat this trainer 100% with recoil and poison damage. I hope... That you guys had a wonderful, wonderful day today. I had a wonderful day myself. Obviously, he's going to be mad. And we get to take one of the fossils. So, are we taking the dome fossil or the helix fossil? Let me know in the comment section below. I will be responding to every comment like I do every time. So, obviously, come on and comment down below. I love you all so much. Keep up the amazing work. 